Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome back to my channel. It's Dub Dub. Today's video is going to be a DIY on making this IKEA bag into a bra. This was like a trend that I saw on the internet probably like a couple years ago. I've seen like a lot of pictures on like Instagram of like pants with like the lining of this on it and then I think I've seen underwear too and a hoodie with this like down the side. I could probably find a reference picture that I've seen on Instagram before and put it here. I didn't even look at the picture before I made the bra. I kind of just freestyled it hoping it would work and it actually did so that's cool. But anyway I hope you enjoy this video. If you want to see how I turn this IKEA bag into a bra, then just keep watching. So some of the materials that you will need for this project include two IKEA bags. I had already seam ripped the straps off so you can go ahead and do that to get started. And you will also need a pair of fabric scissors, a seam ripper, a permanent marker, measuring tape or a ruler, some sewing pins as well as a sewing machine, a hook and eye closure set. I actually cut this one off of a bra that I don't wear anymore. And this part is optional, but I have a triangle bra that I already own to use kind of as like a template so I can measure what size I want my triangles to be for the bra. And now that we have all our materials, let's get started. So the first thing I did was I took my triangle bra and I traced out a triangle in the IKEA bag material and I just cut it out with my fabric scissors. And then I laid that one down on top of another spot of the bag and I repeated the same thing. After I had my two triangles cut out, I folded them both in half and I used my measuring tape and a permanent marker to measure about two inches up the center of the triangle and one inch along the bottom. And I just drew a little line across and pinned it down to be sewn. And after it's sewn down, if you unfold it, it should look something like this. Now it's time to attach the trim and you want to make sure that the logo is centered and I'm starting with the top two sides of the triangle and you just want to pin them down to the sides and make sure there's no pieces sticking out and no holes. And you're just going to sew a straight stitch with a similar color thread. Now I'm using a longer piece of the trim on the other side because I want to use the rest of this piece for the straps. And again, I'm making sure that the logo is centered and I'm sewing a straight stitch all the way across. Then of course, we're just repeating this process for the other triangle and I'm making sure that the longer straps are opposite of each other. Now it's time to attach the two triangles using a long strap, again centering the logo between the two triangles. And I'm using my triangle bra for reference to make sure the spacing is correct because we don't want them too close together or too far apart. And I'm just pinning down the trim and sewing a straight stitch across. Once the bottom lining is sewn into place, we can cut off the excess. And at this point, the bottom strap is too short to wrap around my bust. So to extend it, I'm pinning down some extra trim and lining it up perfectly and just sewing down the sides. After the straps were extended, I tried on the bra and marked where I needed to put my clasps. And starting with the hook part of the closure, I just folded it into the strap and sewed it like this. And then folded over the extra and sewed that part down with a straight stitch. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm just repeating this step with the hook part of the closure and make sure you don't sew in one of the hooks you want to make sure all of them are still reachable so as close to the edge as you can and I would suggest trying it on before sewing down this last part just to make sure that it fits correctly And finally, it's time to attach the straps. I originally wanted to go for a choker type thing, but it was gaping in weird places, so I decided against it. I just pinched the straps like this so that they angled upwards and pinned them down. I just sewed some straight lines across and along the corners so there was nothing sticking out or bulging. And now for the back part of the straps, I'm just lining them up where I want them to be and sewing them down. And lastly, I finished off any raw edges I had with a lighter so that they wouldn't come unraveled or fray. And that's it! today's video I hope you try it out yourself and if you do make sure you tag me on Instagram I hope you learned something or you were just entertained or you like this video and if you did then hit it with a thumbs up and make sure you smash that subscribe button am I right ladies yeah that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.